Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Happy to have you, I hope you stay a while. I am a personal wardrobe stylist and the whole point of these videos is to help you not only feel confident in the body that you were given, but to help you become a smarter shopper. Today we are gonna talk about something that is very important. It's something that I drill into my clients and my friends and myself. And that is the top three questions to ask yourself when you are buying an article of clothing. The first question to ask ourselves when we have a piece of clothing on and we're looking in the mirror is, does it flatter my silhouette? I plan to go into much detail about silhouettes and body types and how to accentuate, balance, and camouflage each of those body types. But until then, bear with me. I would say that at this point in our lives, we can try something on and be able to look in the mirror and say, yeah, I look bomb in that. Or, that is terrible. <laughs> or, it's like fine, but I may have to put on a cardigan just to like cover up a couple spots. I think that majority of us may know that when looking in the mirror, we may not be able to put into words why something works or doesn't work, but we at least know if it works or doesn't work. So as we are trying pieces on, be true to yourself. Don't get lost in the sales. Ugh. Sales, sales equal regret. 90% of the time. The other 10% you scored, good for you. The other 90% just return it and get your mind back. Does it flatter my silhouette? That is the question to be asking. Moving on to question number two. Will this article of clothing coordinate with at least three other pieces in my wardrobe? This could be an article of clothing or an accessory or a shoe. It just needs to go with at least three other pieces. All right, let's do a little example here. I have for you this pretty white blazer that I got, I don't know, a couple years ago, and it was an investment piece. But I knew that before I could buy it, I had to justify it. So I already knew that it looked good on, but I had to make sure that I had at least three other pieces in my wardrobe that it would go with. It seemed like such a standout piece that it may be a little tricky. Here's what I found. I knew that I had these white wide leg trousers and I love doing monochromatic looks. I am a sucker. So I thought, cool, let's do the blazer, let's do the white trousers and then I can add either a white tee on underneath for a little bit more casual or a white blouse. Boom, there's one outfit. I could also substitute in a pink shirt and do the same look with white pants or I could bring in a pair of jeans, which is always very easy to do. Or, my hands are getting full here, or these fun blue trousers. They're from Reese, I'm obsessed with them and I could make this a look. Oh boy, this is, Hold on. And action. I could make this a look and it would look very well put together. Now, not only have I found three extra pieces, but I have at least three other outfits. So I had this blazer, which I knew was going to be an investment piece, but the cost per wear was going to be very low because of how versatile it was. So she's home with me today. The third question to ask yourself before you pull the plug on that article of clothing is, is it sending the right message? Every item of clothing that we wear sends messages from our earrings down to our shoes, especially our shoes. Those are very, very important. Straight angular lines will typically send messages of power, authority, maybe even intimidation. When I think about where I often see these messages, my mind first goes to the corporate workplace where people are in nice trim blazers with these prominent collars and their pants are pressed perfectly. They're usually wearing darker colors and this will give those messages. On the flip side of that, curved lines and even softer, more fluid fabrics will give off a more gentle, approachable message. This is when I think of nurses or preschool and kindergarten teachers. <gasps> I think of Miss Honey. Miss Honey versus Miss Trunchbull. This is like 
the most perfect example. This trench bull has her thick, slicked back ponytail and this hard blazer buckled with a thick leather belt, whereas Miss Honey is in a soft, romantic, flouncy little dress. Her hair is so soft that the sun, you can just see the sun shining off. It's shiny. I want to know what she puts in her hair. And it flips out with this beautiful little curl. Even her glasses are round as opposed to straight angular lines. So as you are purchasing pieces, ask yourself, what message is this sending? Is this aligned with what I want to be saying to people? My hope is that these three questions will really help you become more focused as you are shopping and help you become an overall smarter shopper. Make wiser purchases. We don't want the guilt of any article of clothing in our closet. So follow these three and you should be good to go. Thanks for listening and I will see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, please like it below or subscribe. Yes, just take a minute to subscribe, I'll wait.